Hi everyone, it's Chloe and welcome back to another video. So today is going to be the first video in my little Peacemaker CC restricted pack video and today we're building a Hampton style house with the Hamptons retreat pack and I'm also using cats and dogs and a few others too. So I'm also using the cats and dogs add-on by Peacemaker and as I said also his Hamptons retreat. So that set includes kind of a lot of sophisticated kind of high-end pieces mainly for the bedroom but I've kind of used them where I can throughout the living space too. Um, there's a there's a few bits from get to work, spa day and get together because I'm crap and I didn't know what I was using. I was trying to filter it out but as you know when you eye pick something it cancels the filters so I tried my best. Um, if you want to download this it is on the gallery. Make sure you have CC ticked otherwise you won't see it. So right now I'm just building the up the shape of the house. Um, as always I found a picture on Pinterest which I'm working from. Um, I use a mixture of Peacemaker's Cats and Dogs windows and from in the game. And right now this is actually the back of the house which is kind of the focal point. I concentrate more on the back than, than the front because I feel like that's where everyone would spend their time anyway because you've got the pool, you've got everything you need outside. So I actually wanted to do kind of a natural kind of landscaping thing here and you'll see in a minute when I start planting it's kind of a bit random so it's not very sculpted or uh, manicured but I also used a roof that I've never used before well a roof pattern I've never actually used this kind of peachy brown roof um, and I'm also using Peacemaker's uh, Cats and Dogs shingles add-on which I love they come in so many colours I went for this kind of muted grey grey blue um, I think it really works well with the roof and the green of the Windenburg and this is on the 40 by 30 in Windenburg on the island. Um, I just think it really fits. I think Windenburg especially has a very Hamptons vibe about it. And here you can see I am marking out the landscaping. I was, I was on a video call with someone and we were building together and they were watching me landscape and they didn't realise that I painted the um, terrain paint first whereas they put the plants down and then did it after. I used to do that but I just like marking out where everything's going to go. So the way I've planted it is kind of, it's still a bit manicured because it's just the style of the home but where it's just coming out here and there and all the daisies I think it just looks a bit more rustic and it it makes a nice contrast to the kind of posh style of the house. So I made the interior very uh, warm with a lot of light woods so even though it's not using any dark woods I feel like it's still very warm. Um, the floor plan actually took me ages to figure out and I did a lot of that off camera. Um, I actually did all of this build yesterday so it, that was a Saturday um, and I, normally I have streamers that I watch on a Saturday but no one was streaming. So I had all day to do whatever I wanted and I chose to build. I mean I could have done washing, drying, all that fun stuff but who wants to do that when you can play The Sims, you know? So I'm actually using some city living um, lounge chairs because I couldn't find any chairs that worked. I was trying this thing with, the, with a chair and a table and it wasn't working so I just gave in and used them. If you want to download this and you don't have it, then I'm sure you can replace it with something else. But I'm also using the new objects that we got in the free patch. Um, the Caribbean style objects, and I'm actually really impressed with how much they give us for free. Um, I think it's better than some stuff packs. We shall not name said stuff pack. But I'm um, especially uh, impressed with the Kaz items, actually, and I'm not a Kaz, a Kaz player, you know? Um, but it does make me want to delve into it, especially because I've been seeing a lot of CC casts and you know I'm a sucker for build CC so I just feel like if I go down that rabbit hole I will never come out but never say never. 
So you may see some Kaz from me, probably on stream to be fair, not on YouTube. So that's another thing, if you don't know, I stream on Twitch. Um, I, I've released a new schedule, it is, let me think, <laughs> it's every Friday, um, starting at 8 and I usually go for at least, I don't know, 6 hours. Um, and then I'm doing Tuesday and Sundays, so Sundays are going to be every other kind of alternating, so one week I'll start at 12 and one week I'll start at 4, I'm actually doing this on the Sunday, so I'm going to be streaming in an hour and a half, this is going up tomorrow for me, so that'll be Monday. But that's where you can catch me all of the time, I'm always somewhere on Twitch, if I'm not streaming I'm watching someone stream. So right now I am doing the kitchen, I'm using Peacemaker Shaker style kitchen because I thought that restricting myself to just base game and a Peacemaker set was a bit uh, was a bit tight. I mean, I'm a CC addict, so I'm, I can't go cold turkey <laughs> all at once. So I decided to add in Peacemaker's build items and a buy set. So I'm planning to do all of them if possible. I mean, I know some of them are small. Some of what he's done are just like three items, like the sofa sets. So I'm going to mix and match where I can, where I think it's possible and where I think it suits. But right now I'm just cluttering up the kitchen. I know clutter, clutter is not me. If you know me, I don't do clutter. <laughs> I don't really like faffing around with all this, but I made the effort today. I mean, it's still not a lot for some people, but I like how this turned out. I liked the wallpaper. I've never done wallpaper in a kitchen before, but I have used my subway tiles as I always do because they're the best. And I started off with a green swatch with this kitchen, so I wanted it to be a kind of a country style kitchen, but it wasn't really working, so I changed it all to grey. And I'm just adding some more items. I'm using the pre-made rooms to find things because I don't know where anything is. <laughs> um, now this is the dining room. I, um, oh no, it's the living room. Um, I made a kind of fireplace nook with the chimney, because the chimney is uh, in a bit of an odd place. But it works on the outside, so I made it work in the inside. This is basically like a little cosy little bit. There's some shelves to the side which I add. And then on this side I do the living room with the TV and stuff. The cats and dogs um, corner seat, which I love. It's my favourite. And then we also have a little office to the left and a bathroom. And then upstairs there are three bedrooms. This house was not built for any kids, so it's very, you could call it a vacation home for young adults or adults. Um, but yeah, I tried to use all of Peacemaker's things throughout the build. I'm using rugs, like I said, I'm going to be using the build items. As like, Peacemaker's base game, I'm calling it. So I'm using the walls as well, the wallpaper and the floors. Um, and I really like how this turned out. It's very light, green, earthy, but still very homely, I think. So I think I'm going to leave it there. I've actually done this voiceover without a script for once. <laughs> Usually I'm reading because I cannot talk for crap. I really can't. But I'm going to push myself. I'm going to try and do more voiceovers without script. <laughs> so wish me luck. Um... I actually have a new YouTube schedule, so I'm going to be uploading at least every Monday. I may upload more, as and when I can, but you can count on a video on a Monday from me. Um, I'm going to alternate it between these Peacemaker videos and kind of normal speed builds. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.